here it is, the game you've all been waiting for, Super Mario Bros. 2, another heavy hitter developed by Nintendo R&D 4, published by, of course, Nintendo, as you would expect here. Ooh, when Mario opened a door after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world spread before him, and he heard a voice call for help to be freed from the spell. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby, and to his surprise, he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Push start button. What a weird thing to see in your dream. Push start button. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll play as the Mario first. We'll, we'll play as the other characters too. Now, obviously, this is a game that. Oh, hold on, I gotta fix my emulator. There we go. Now, obviously, this is a game that uh, probably everybody has played. You know, it's. Also, a bizarre Mario game. I don't need to tell you the whole background history because you all already know it, but uh, the Spark Notes version is. It was initially a game. Hold on, let me start in a different place here. So, Super Mario Bros. 2 did exist in a different form. It was what we got in America in uh, Super Mario All Stars for the Super Nintendo called uh, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. That was Super Mario Brothers 2 with Famicom. Again, you all know this, but come on. Man. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Hold on. Uh, but they didn't want to publish it in America because they figured Americans were too dumb. And by too dumb, I mean we weren't good enough at video games. They were like, nah, this game is going to bomb over there. Everyone sucks over there, so come on. Instead, they repurposed another game, and this is the part you all know, called Doki Doki Panic. Which plays, well, like this. You pick up things and you throw them. The end result of that is that this is literally just a reskin of that game with Mario characters. But, this game is more relevant than that within the Mario mythos, as it does introduce things like Birdo, the Shy Guys... The... Things... <laughs> you know... I mean, the Mario world, it was all pretty bare-bones by this point anyway. So it's not like there was a whole lot to, uh... Reutilize. I mean, this game doesn't even have Goombas. So what does that tell you? Anyway. Yeah, totally different from most Mario games because of the whole pickup stuff mechanic. We have frozen time. As a result, it is not my favorite Mario game either. Like, yeah, there are a lot of people who enjoy it, and that's that's all well and good. It's perfectly fine to enjoy Super Mario Brothers 2, but I'm like, just give me the classics. Just give me the classic Mario gameplay. There we go. Check that out. Even as a young man, Super Mario Bros. 2 just felt a little off to me. Okay, so we've we found our way in the back end. I totally forgot that that was actually a uh, secret. Well, I remembered it was a secret, because obviously, you know, it's all out of the way and hidden from you here, but I, I forgot it just kind of led to the back way. There's Birdo. I'm no speedrunner, so you know this is going to take some time. I've never beat Super Mario Bros. 2, actually. I do own it, but like on an actual cartridge. I don't own the All-Stars version. Ooh, gimme. It's nothing. And now, it's simple. We go to Luigi. Now, I'm pretty sure your, uh... Your most OP character in this game is, of course, Peach. She can float. And... Good luck telling me that that's not, uh, the best way to go. Ooh, look at this. They try to get you... But they can't get you because you're good at video games. Good job. We'll throw it. We'll throw it right here. Why not? There we go. Now I'm unsure if switching to Luigi 
was actually a bad idea because I, it appears that we lost that other uh, part that we had. These terrified me as a kid. I any enemy that I couldn't actually deal with and just had to avoid that was uh, that was terrible news to me. But it's gone now. Everything feels a little slow right now, like the music. Could just be because I'm not horribly used to the NES version, admittedly. Yeah. Good job, I guess. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Now, I, I can't in any good conscience, like, try to s claim that this game is bad or anything like that, but, oh, come on, man. They got me. I'm supposed to bomb that part first. It is a well-made game. It's, you know, any game that sees a major stylistic change has the tendency to be a little divisive. This game was so, actually, for people seem to kind of widely regard this game as being an all-time classic. I'm kind of alone in my questioning it. Okay, there's nothing there. I don't remember everything in this game. You're gonna have to, you have to forgive me. Now, this, this is where the going gets tough for me, because I'm real bad at, uh, jumping on the eggs as Luigi, specifically. His flutter jump makes the timing all just a little bit odd. There we go. I lied, I'm great. So, how's your day? It's, it's at that time already in the episode where I ask you, how are you? Are things going well? Me? I just spent $5,000 on air conditioning. So, that's how it's going for me. You know, I don't, I don't know if you can time this bonus chance. I somehow got one up, I guess. Not sure where the sense is there, but uh, clearly one of those was good enough to uh, give me something. For, I'm, I'm not sure what, maybe Cherry in the first slot is a one up. And now we check out Toad. Because we can. And again, maybe we, maybe you should stick with one character. Maybe that's why I'm losing hit points here. That's the super jump. In case you were unaware of that mechanic. But again, odds are you've played this game. Even if you're not a total boomer. It's good odds. After all, a uh, whole separate generation was introduced to it uh, when it was uh, Super Mario Bros. Advance. A launch title for the Game Boy Advance. I remember playing it in a Walmart. And I was like, dude. Is, could technology get any more out of hand? <laughs> it's the most incredible handheld thing I'd ever played. It's still pretty cool, to be perfectly clear. Okay, nothing in the jar, so we go in here. We haven't even taken a hit yet, so I would just like to make it known that I am incredible right now. There might be something down there as, uh... Oh, I've, I, I've taken a hit. I'm not that incredible. Okay, what was I gonna say? Yeah, th there may be something down there by where that shy guy was. But I don't really, uh, I don't really trust it. That could just be a massive bait. There we go. Utilize the mushrooms. Use your stairs. Obviously, a lot of classic music in this game. That's the Mario guarantee. I am a fool. And I'm gonna lose a life. That's, that's Toad's problem there, you know doesn't jump very high. There's a reason why nobody ever really picks him in this game. Anyway, yeah, chase me. Let's see if I care. 
this is clearly the fastest way down, so we'll do that. Yeah, and yes, that's right. That is indeed what is down, is the door that I have to unlock. So, we'll just hop over the shy guy, tell him you do not control my fate. We're not going to get shot by that one. And look at that. We landed... We stuck the landing, is what I should say. Is what I tried to say. We didn't take the right path. The middle path has the POW block. Oh no. How will I recover? Dude. <laughs> Wish I would've gotten the star. Feeling pretty foolish now. No opportunity to switch out characters, but now I know. Toad, not your guy. I think he's fast, which is probably... Is that good for speed? That's just embarrassing. What I was going to say is, is being f fast actually good for sp speed running? <laughs> uh, or is the air control of Peach superior? Big part of me wants to say that uh, just playing the character that uh, doesn't ever die is probably better. And that is indeed Peach's special ability is uh, she never dies. Yo, give me that. Thank you. Not even a boss to fight. Just incredibly simple stuff here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. No boss is here. Ah, that's right. It's 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 the Rat King. Or something like that. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to jump on top of this guy. Sorry. Fortunately, this is not the kind of rat king that has other rats growing out of it, so this is not the most, uh, not the most disgusting rat king of all time. Look at that. We got him. Absolutely not a problem. If I were still ten years old, there's not a chance I would have accomplished that. No bonus, and I kind of blew all my lives. Anyway, Peach. Decent jumping acumen, but she also be floating. And I have already taken a hit. What do we got? What do we got here? Something terrible. Dude! You're not supposed to sh ra rapid fire me like that, man! Alright, well. <laughs> she cannot jump over the snakes either, so that's that's a little bit of a problem. I need to know what's here, though. Like, I can't just... <laughs> you see what I was trying to do there? It just didn't work out. Anyway, that's a game over. Uh, and I'm sure... Ooh, we get some continues. Actually, just give me my boy Mario. I need some regular plain Jane hops. Let's see if he can clear this snake. Yeah, see? That's, that's what it takes for me. I just... I need... The perfect balance here. Maybe we just... Yeah! We do that. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> Had you asked. Anyway, the fact that you get multiple continues uh, leads me to believe that there would be nothing at all difficult about this game if you just memorize it all. I know, you can say that about every game ever. Oh, just memorize it and then it's not hard. This is probably the same thing, right? Or is is that what they want me to think? Yep, it's the same thing. Shouldn't have fallen for it. It's probably why the uh, pot is grinning at me. Okay. We're gonna game over completely. <laughs> uh, fell for that one too. I owe everybody a grave apology for the abysmal performance that I'm churning out here. I think you gotta delete, like, two enemies with one throw. That would be the right there. Anyway, yeah, give me... 
me the mushroom. I appreciate that a great deal. Can't remember if you can go into the pots in the negative world or not. It seems like something that would be cool. That's a cactus, so I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna opt to not jump on it. Common sense would tell me that that is gonna sting. Oh, never mind. It doesn't sting. Good. Mario fears no cactus. I do love a good invincibility star, though. I think they have different names. Aren't they actually called, like, power stars or something? Something equally super cool and badass? That's a party foul right there. To be certain. Oh, I thought I could run right under him! I was short! <laughs> Wasn't short enough. Alright. Roll it back. And dig from this side. Don't even let that other one have the opportunity to join the fight. Gotta dig random patterns to avoid shy guy death. This guy is gonna be a problem though. Never mind. Not really. When I said a problem, I was just saying that to inflate his ego a little bit. What you got for me? A birdo? Nice try. But I've already mastered the concept of Birdo. Look at that. It's always three. Okay, we can go up there, but there's nothing to get up there. You gotta wonder where that concept of threes came in. Oh, could I gotten the third? That's worth at least three lives right there, right? Just never lucky, man. We'll continue to be Mario. And... This confirms that you do lose your health regardless, so those upgrades are incredibly temporary. Oh, couldn't clear that one. It's, this, it's the same garbage. I guess we could probably take the shells out and use them for a greater good. You know, just a thought. And I know that there are some very tactical places where you can, uh... God. Where you can use your potions as well. And just, uh, completely mangle your opponents. Yeah, let's just let's just toss him somewhere where he can still continue to wreak havoc. Well, I did nothing. <laughs> but it's okay. No, you know what? I'm done with the pots. There's clearly nothing good to be had there. Just get me in this door, man. Oh, that's a one up. There we go. That's fine. As long as we can make it through. Is there gonna be a second? Uh... Oh, there it is. That's another hit we can take. I, I wanted that last coin too. But... Okay, nothing else here. No, I'm not gonna test going down the holes, thank you very much. We're not jumping down there. That's certain death. 
It's already been 20 minutes, actually. I want to, again, reiterate. I don't think Super Mario Bros. 2 is a bad game. It's just, uh... Probably my least favorite of the NES trilogy. None of these pots are worth it, by the way. You'd think I would have already had figured that out? You'd be wrong. Dude, almost got that whole thing. Anyway. Just run. Going down the beanstalk should be fine. If it were a straight drop into a pit, I'd say get out of here with that nonsense. That's actually even greater nonsense. Just again, dig, dig erratically. Dig in a way that uh, the shy guys can't possibly hurt you. I, uh, one of these is the correct way, and one of these is the incorrect way. I guess we'll find out which one is which. I should have taken advantage of that invincibility a little better. This is the correct way. Beautiful. There was nothing I had to worry about. We only got it once, so really, we're fine here. That. That's probably just like a, hey, in case you're playing as Toad, here's a way out. Dude! Birdo's rapid firing! It's learned the new strats. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, no! I'll give you this. At least there's no time limit to Super Mario Bros. 2 stages. Got him. That was, whew, that was tough. Should have taken it with me. Give me something nice, man. It, do, do, it gave me something nice. That's one up. That's as good as a single cherry in the first position. And that's as good as nothing. Again, garbage. I'm not even gonna look. I'm gonna close my eyes and then. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, almost actually. Closing my eyes and doing the rhythmic tapping was very nearly the answer. I know what you're saying. Man, could you be any more boring picking Mario? Say, no. I couldn't. That's as boring as humanity comes right there. Like, when you pick Mario in Super Smash Brothers. But I'm the kind of guy who's like, hey, I actually think Mario is just fun to play as in Smash Brothers. So, uh, get off my case. Oh, man. So clearly... What I was going to say was, uh, clearly, the upgrade mushroom is in a different castle. Come on. <laughs> we stop this. We don't need to stop it. Check it out. I was going to say. Great mushroom. Good coin. Coin. We're gonna get coinage. Ah! Couldn't get all of them. Anyway, there's probably nothing else here, is there? Just vegetable roots. You know, this game was iconic enough where they uh, did base Peach's entire sm uh, Smash Brothers identity after it, basically. Which makes sense, because it's not like Peach really had a uh, physical presence in the. Mario lore prior to that point. I mean, yeah, she existed as you know, an in-screen character, but like, what were you going to do for a moveset? May as well define her by the game where she was playable. Oh, I can't believe we hit that spine right as it all ran out. Alright, into the pyramid. I was going to say, if this is another digging level, I don't want to hear anything about it. I probably could have gotten a, mm, a thing out of it. Hold on. 
I'll tell you what, we're gonna pre dig. Pre digging? Actually, it's not pre digging, it's just digging. Because <laughs> we don't have the key yet anyway, and the lock is up there, as I just realized. So, you know, ignore what I'm saying. It's for the best. Yeah, there we go. Turbo button dig. So it's probably this side, right? Because it was the right side last time. And there's no way that they're gonna, you know, do it twice. Ooh, it's neither. Or it's both, actually. Dude, dude, come on. That was the worst possible way that that could have gone. Oh, no. The absolute state of this right now. Okay, so, we have a lot of stuff to dodge. You know, the mask, it's not that hard to dodge. It just, it kind of swoops around you in a way that you can just kind of move left or right. You don't really gotta worry about too much with that. And there you go, you're done. Get out of here. Why, why even go down there? For points? Don't make me laugh. We do have to get you out of here, though. We got something good in here? That might be something good. You know what? I'll take it with me. You have better uses than right here. Like getting me a heart. Absolutely, I'm for that. Salvage to that. It was looking a little rough for a second, but oh no no what now? Oh I have no memory of this. That's a bad sign. <laughs> no no Okay. We got the right idea. Shockingly enough, the gimmick of this boss is throw things at it until it dies. But man, that's a vicious arc. We have lives. We have continues. And look at that, we've still got all of our uh, all of our hearts intact as well. Now, it's probably only three. Because that's that's how this game works. That's how all Mario games work. Yeah, easy. I saw some article that was like, here is why Mario bosses suck usually. And look, I'm I'm not like a hey Mario's the greatest franchise ever kind of simp. Like I acknowledge that it's very good. But even reading that article, I was like, if you think that Mario bosses should be like Bloodborne bosses, you're an idiot. <laughs> Quite frankly, you've just kind of completely lost the plot. Like, there's, there, there's no purpose. Dang it. Yes! Oh! I timed it! I timed it! I, oh, I was like, the second the shy guy comes into my vision, I'm gonna hit A. Look at that, five extra lives? That's incredible. That's gonna keep me going for the rest of the freaking video. I, I, I opted to say frig instead of the other word I say sometimes. I'm inconsistent. Sometimes I'm like, nah, I'm gonna be a family channel. Sometimes I'm like, uh, no, that's lame. I don't know, man. It's early enough. Early enough in my illustrious career. That was, that was a little bit embarrassing. Can't lie. This, this carpet better not run out of me before I can uh, get where I need to go. I was gonna say, it wouldn't do that to me. So I have no memory of that last boss, but I do have memory of this stage. How does that work? Okay, let's, let's get rid of it. Let's see. 
please. That's, the That's all I really want. That's all I wanted. Just a little health upgrade, which also gives me all the health. Pop. Just say, don't act like you never played this game before. Don't get caught up in the imaginary. This must be a pick either an upgrade or pick coins kind of thing. I'm assuming if you were to bring it uh, more over to this side, there would be an upgrade mushroom. I have no basis for that assumption. Other than it seems to make a fair bit of logical sense. In the same type of logic that games use. Like, oh, man. La the ladders are a little slippery. They can use some. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a disaster area right there. Yeah, give me the Birdo fight. That's, that's, that's where I'm at right here. And let me actually hit Birdo. Wish I could get that heart that's way over there, but, uh... <laughs> Dude, I could, that could have very easily ended in a death. I don't think I'll need it, though. I'm pretty sure that you heal up at the start of every level. Not, not even close. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta dial it in. <laughs> no, 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 not even close. One up, I'm fine. I'm fine with that, you know? Just just, just keep accumulating. Nothing there, nothing there. Two up? Okay, the cherries? The cherries are definitely overpowered. Alright. That requires a lot of uh, intense concentration there. You can't think about anything else. It's the ostrich stage. This... I, I, I no longer remember anything here. Like, I genuinely think that I'm just in uncharted territory for myself. Which goes to show you how terrible I was at this game as a kid, if I've never seen this before. <laughs> and now I've accomplished it with relative ease. It's not the hardest Mario game. Not to say that Mario is synonymous with being difficult, it's really not. I've seen some jokers kind of try to make that claim, and it's like, well, that would be your opinion, I suppose, but that's a, that's a goofy, goofy opinion. Now that, that I, I take offense to. You're gonna say, oh no, you died with, with your uh, hundreds of lives. Okay. Ah, I see. I, I think? I see? Yeah, I see. <laughs> I don't see. I can't see what kids see in Cinnamon Ghost Road, to be honest. That's the impression that I get right now from how I'm playing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. There's gotta be something all the way to the right of the screen there. It can't just exist there for no reason. I, I guess it can. There's nothing preventing it legally from being the case. We got a pixie. We can't be stopped now. No, there's nothing there. You already know there's nothing there. I'm just... You should probably bring a root with you, though, to take care of that thing. I'm just making all these... Not-so-mental notes. If they were mental notes, I wouldn't be verbalizing them to you. There's your... Is your lesson for the day. Yes. Give me a mushroom. Sometimes all you gotta do is ask, you know? And Super Mario Brother 2 will get Let me just go down here. Easy enough, right? Thank 
you for watching my Super Mario Brothers 2 tutorial. See, it's it's called a tutorial because it's Super Mario Brothers 2, but it's a tutorial. Oh, we just dropped it. No! So say, can I not just drop it directly down the hole? Nope, the physics don't work like that. Well, I'm not going to worry about it then. Whatever was there was not for me, clearly. Although I do kind of have to get this. That's, that was, that was not Well, I don't know what to do here, to be perfectly honest. I feel like I have kind of, uh, kind of bungled this up a little. However, we can respawn the bombs. Pick it up. You go up. <laughs> you avoid damage by the skin of your teeth. And then... You say, I choose to do it this way instead. Let's make this about a million times easier on ourselves. Uh, however, it's still going to be slightly complicated. I just wish I could, you know... There's gotta be a way, right? There's gotta be a way to get your bombs. Oh, wait. I think I know what it wants me to do. And it's dumb. Okay. Yeah. No! Okay, we gotta respawn the bombs again. Nice. <laughs> you understand. It's, it's, it's been a long day. If nothing else, this is content, right? This beats Millipede. Actually, no, Millipede is great. This beats, uh, this beats Pac-Man. It beats Spy versus Spy. I'm not trying to be rude to all of those games. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you wouldn't set it down. I was too close to it. There. Now, yeah, bomb the closer ones with the ones on top. It'll save you some grief. Oh, boy, boy, boy. What a puzzle, man. Really making you use your noggin in this section. And then they're like, hey, you may want to use the power block, and I'm like, hey, you may want to shut your mouth. Nothing that you have said means a thing to me. Look at that. We made it through. Slightly rude that that would rain death on me from above, but it's nothing I can't avoid. That I'm a little, uh... I'm a little embarrassed about. That's the stuff 10-year-old me would do, but, like, it was every time I jumped. No talent at all. Actually, I'm, I'm quite happy with how they're performing. Look at that, especially with skill shots like that. Still been playing the Outer Wilds. I have yet to beat that so far. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I guess we'll find out. The Outer Wilds so far is a great, great game with a lot of extremely questionable <laughs> puzzles. Oh, that's the wrong one. Well, now we know. In case, God forbid, there's a next time. Most of the puzzles in the Outer Wilds are fine, but there was one in particular that I could not figure out myself, and I, I'm ashamed to admit I had to use a guide. And yes, I am saying Outer Outer Wilds and not Outer Worlds. They're different games. One is New Vegas, but worse. <laughs> the other is... Uh, Every other locking simulator in the world, but better. Mm. 
thing. That's your that, that's your TLDR. I also got Forza Horizon 3 in that game. Pops. Dude. Yes. I'm getting there. I I'm not I'm not getting there. I'm not getting there. That's that's still another life, you know. Make up make up a little bit for what we've been losing. World 3-3, here we go. I believe this game does have warp zones as well. I just I don't know how to find them. Because I'm not good at them. <laughs> just barely in range of the mushroom. Thank you. Blessed, blessed game. Okay, we got ostriches, we got bombs, we got uh, raptors dropping the bombs. Soon we'll have ostriches riding the raptors, dropping the bombs, carrying the shy guys. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a full circus. Yeah, despawn them. And it's back. <laughs> They're all back. <laughs> the POW block, it's, it's more ceremonial than anything else. It doesn't really uh, have a functional purpose. Dude, I'm doing a great job of making sure that uh, this guy just stays with me until the bitter end. So if that was my, if that was my intention, give me <laughs> my fair due. Okay, he should be in here, right? Okay, so he should be further up here, right? Come. <laughs> that, there we go. That's that's the strategy. Just avoid those pots altogether, and then just wrap around. It's for style. Don't worry about it. where things get, uh, get really questionable. I've never done this before. I am five years old. Mom said it's my turn to play the Xbox! Come on! Okay, you have to go back in here. That's, that's, that's cool. Cool and good. Very legal and very cool right there. Yes. Okay. This is where we lose all of our lives. <laughs> That's what I've determined here. No, no. We'll eventually have to get it. We'll eventually improve. We've proven it time and time again. Absolutely nothing can stop us until we find a game that stops us. Which is most of them because we only have six games. That's, that's, that's the chain. That's the gimmick. The hook. You can't write a song without a hook, and you can't start a YouTube channel. No, actually, anything that I say there is a lie, because you can't know, start a channel for any reason whatsoever. I've, I've seen some of the miserable content out there that exists. There, there really isn't a bar. Oh. Not even a problem. Check that out, man. Now we just, uh, we gotta super jump our way up here. Don't let that thing touch you. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it's okay, though. Every new screen is a checkpoint. <laughs> and we have all of our health back. This is... <laughs> Things are definitely getting hairy. Do you mind not doing that? Like, how about it, man? Look at that. 
Every time I do something mildly bad, it's the end of the world. Every time I do something mildly good, I'm absolutely shocked and amazed by my abilities. If you're not gonna act like that when you play video games, then why even play video games, right? Ah, I was gonna say! I'm not expecting anything, but if, if you'd like to, that would be great. Oh, jeez, though. No! <laughs> it just gets scarier, man. <laughs> oh, scarier like space harrier. You know what I'm saying? Probably don't. It doesn't mean anything. Space Harry is not a particularly scary game unless you're specifically playing the Master System version, which is always played on this channel. Meaning, I guess it is a scary game. In the hearts and minds of 60 Minutes to Lose viewers, all seven of them. Big ups to everybody who watches, by the way. You keep me going. You keep my batteries flowing. Is it weird that your views remind me of a Jason Derulo song? Mm. You know, I'm really not sure about this dropping. I'm really not sure about any of this, either. I'm not saying that your views are garbage, by the way. <laughs> well, we've destroyed them all, but at what cost? At the cost of probably dying very shortly. Dude, there was a power star, and I I just... I, I spat in its face. I saw it, and I said, no. I don't need your charity today. The irony of the situation is that I absolutely need its charity. Ah, uh, yeah, no. This is heinous. Yeah, don't don't even bother with that power. Man. It's it's there purely to trick you up and fool you. It's all deception. No! I, I thought I was gonna, like, smash myself with that shell. Dude, it was worth it! I didn't even die! <laughs> oh, there's no boss? Don't mind if I do. I'm just, uh, hop over here for no- no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not throwing it all away. <laughs> oh, wait. We're gonna get a boss right here, though. Oh, it's- it's- it's just you. Just the- the- the total Chad rat. Uh, yeah, let's call that a deal. He killed his own spiny. Okay, now it's just a matter of waiting until we get a lucky, uh, a lucky bomb. So far, he's, he's dodging us like a king. I can't get any offense off on him. Dude, come on. Now I'm, now I'm all super worried and stuff. Can you get hit once? <laughs> once is all I ask. And then I'm gonna ask for a few more times after that. Which makes me a liar. I'm not sure if he's like actively dodging them. I clearly need to be getting these way over here though. There we go. That one. That, that, that's one. Like I said, that was all I was asking for. Like, I gotta jump way further over than I think I do. That, okay, we got this. We got this. Just set it up right on the edge, because that's where he goes. He's not dead? It takes more than three? That's illegal. 
Yeah, just just throw me once. I'm not jumping on that. That's heavy, heavy trap territory. Throwing them up there, that's like saying, hey man, wanna die? Because that's that's what'll happen if I jump up there. I gotta stay in my safe zone. And there we go. That took five bombs! Absolutely disrespectful. Oh boy. Just nah, just bad. Completely bad. So we're back down to a mortal amount of extra lives, but we also have like nine and a half minutes left of this video and we haven't had to start the whole game over, so that's you know, that's that's pretty good. Pretty good for this channel, I would say. Uh, and, uh, and I will celebrate mediocrity as much as I want, thank you. Woohoo! Check this out, check this out. He's gonna, uh, uh, yep. Zoop himself right out. Hmm. A few coins or the health upgrade? Difficult choice game. I think I'll take the health upgrade. And then I'll just choose to not interact with these enemies. Running past them is valid, man. Let's just, let's just think about this for a second. Yeah! That's, that's generous, actually. I'm not even risking going down there. Forget it. Although it looks like I'll have to. Ooh! Team Rocket's blasting off again. That's the quickest level mankind has ever seen. <laughs> Was that it? Was that the boss? Nope, doesn't seem so. Just, just run past him. Yeah! It can't go up here. <laughs> I'm sweating, man. And not just because I need a new AC unit. Which will be installed on Monday, and then I'll have something that was built in this century. One up, you know, it's fine. I'll take it. I won't take that. Poorly timed. That's fine. Mario, he's carrying us. I feel like I'm doing much better on this world than I was in the last. Which is funny, because I typically don't perform horribly well in ice worlds, but, uh, you know. Well, there's always a time to turn things around. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, no. Maybe we need to take this a little bit slower. Maybe that's the answer to this. Specifically. <laughs> you slide right under him? Yeah, see? We we stop running at absolute top speed, and then we're fine. That, however. <laughs> I... I wish I could say something with some intelligence, but honestly, I'm just kind of, uh... I'm kind of clenching the entire time here. What's a whale? It's multiple whales. They kill you. The whales are not good people. Let it be known. Whales are not good human beings. Oh, well, what's that? Whales aren't human beings at all? I don't want to hear it. You know what? to say. That's probably what the game is asking of us here. Unfortunately, there's no upgrade. Come on. 
watch them upgrade this over here. Yeah, just, let me just wait. You just wait for him to stop freaking out. Oh, you can walk through it. How convenient. Rough place to put that guy. Not rough enough. Eat him into the ocean, for all I care, you know? I gotta say, this is the first, uh... The first whale that has appeared in the Six of the Blues. What do you got for me? Okay, another rocket. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with all of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm vibing with this game a little more than I have in the past. Still not ready to call it, uh... The goat? Oh, Okay, so... Ah, wait. I think it's... I see? It's clear that... Uh, yes, actually, we have to ride this. But we have to throw the shy guy first, because he, he does, in fact, interfere with the ceiling above us. Okay. Well, the more you know. So... We gotta run over here, spawn him again. <laughs> run over here, spawn him again. Throw him down there, and duck. And then watch as he desperately wants to unleash all his furious energy. Can't believe I dodged those things properly. I'm, I'm sweating bullets this entire game right now. Because I've gotten to a point where it's actually difficult and sweating bullets is an appropriate reaction. You know, normally, Hangar 18 is the Mega Death song that you want to be repping. I don't trust any of them. We're good, though. We're good, though. I'm making moves, man. And I know, it's Super Mario Brothers 2. It's not that impressive, but give it to me, man. No. One up, good. That's a cushion. Not like we have much time left, but you know. Almost done. And I don't know, go back to probably playing Forza Horizon 3 or something. Man, so I still haven't played 4. And yet I'm very excited for 5. Dude! Regular enemy Birdo! It's illegal. Violation of the Geneva Convention. For sure. Oh, I see what has to happen here. Check this out. I'm clever. Until this just leads to nowhere. No, oh, no, nope. it led to somewhere, alright. I was expecting a potion to be like the last one that I ripped out. No, we're doing okay. I don't how many worlds are in this game? Like there's clearly a solid amount of content in Super Mario Brothers 2, which I guess I always figured there probably was, but having never made it that far, I never really sat down and thought about it. You know, it's a game that I just... I've never really bonded with as much as I probably should. For how influential it actually low-key is on the whole Mario series, despite the fact that this style of gameplay was pretty much never seen again. Excellent. Well, we're almost out of time, but it's it, it's it's been fun. I won't deny. Another complete ripoff. That's fine. Oh, okay. This is where you gotta slowly ride the shy guy down, which means I'm gonna. This one doesn't drop. Which means I'm gonna run out of time while riding it. You know. It's also abysmal. Phrasing. I don't know what the 
think about riding the Shy Guy any more than I have to. And we'll be able to scroll one more screen. But unfortunately, that's it. That's all the time I have. So how far can you make it in 60 minutes in Super Mario Bros. 2 when you're not a speedrunner and you haven't really made any progress in the game before? That's how far. That screen right there. Experiment done. Uh, yeah, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, that, <laughs> that might have been the best game of the month. And that's a month with 1943 in it, which I thought was excellent. But Super Mario Bros. 3, it is an excellent game. It is well made. The level design is creative and fun. I, you know, I, I just got to get it out of my head that Mario has to kill enemies when he jumps on them. But no, that's, that's a, it's a very good game. Why not? We'll throw it up at the top here. And that concludes October 1988. That took forever, and that's going to kind of be the norm from now on. There's going to be a lot of very large release uh, windows here. So I'm just going to give you a quick lowdown, a quick ranking of the October games here. Uh, we're going to go from worst to best. Absolute worst, bottom of the barrel, Ghostbusters. No question about it. Just a bad game. An even worse version of the Master System, which is already a terrible game. But this, yeah, this is just really bad. Uh, above Ghostbusters, Mag Max, which is not awful, but it's just honestly it's so generic and not that enticing for a shmup. It's just not very good. Above Mag Max is Spy vs. Spy. I can see the appeal, but eventually you just kind of feel like your brain is falling out of your head. Uh, just, there's just kind of a lot of getting lost in mazes and whatnot. I'm sure it's better with a friend, but hey, you know, it's as I've heard people say, no duh, everything is better with a friend. Above Spy vs. Spy, we have Racket Attack, which I'm terrible at, but I'm still convinced it's a decent uh, tennis game. It, it was presented very nicely. Uh, despite being bad at it, I can definitely see the appeal. Above Racket Attack, Mickey Mouse Capade. It has issues. It has a bit of unfair difficulty in places. Uh, it's, but it, it, it is still pretty fun sometimes. I don't know. Mickey Mouse Capade, I, ha I have a, a love-hate relationship with that one. Above Mickey Mouse Capade is Saycross, better than Mac Max, thus its position. Actually pretty fun, very difficult at times. I enjoyed it. Above Saycross is Pac-Man. Very good game, but you know, it's it's held back by the fact that it is just Pac-Man, and there's not anything to do besides just play the one map of Pac-Man. Above Pac-Man is Joust, more variety than Pac-Man, and I find it a little more fun to play, so justify that. Above Joust is Millipede. The best of the arcade games, well, the classic old arcade games at least, uh, Millipede was really fun. It had more to offer than I thought that it would have, and I'm glad that I gave it a chance. Not like I had a choice. <laughs> it was on the list. And after Millipede, uh, 1943, in our penultimate spot there. So 1943, absolutely outstanding game. It warrants its spot perfectly. It's everything 1942 should have been. And then at the top, Super Mario Brothers 2. I do have to admit, at the end of the day, it's just an, an exceptionally well-designed game, and it really does keep you firing off on all cylinders once you get to the more complicated levels. So, hats off, Nintendo. You got me on that one. Anywho, when next we meet, we're jumping back to the Sega Master System, where we'll be playing a game I have never heard of in my life called Miracle Warriors, Seal of the Dark Lord. So... I don't know what to expect from that. I think it's a JRPG, actually. A very, very, very early one. So, join me tomorrow for Miracle Warriors, Seal of the Dark Lord. Until then, thank you so much for watching, as always.